we're going to make something special today. We're going to make strawberry Cinnabons. You heard me. Strawberry Cinnabons. All right. Oops. <laughs> Spray the pan. You know how much I hate popping these things open. Let's see. Uh, where is the? Oh, here you go. On the bottom. Oh gosh, here we go. Jesus, Christmas. That was rough. Okay. All right. Oops. Come on. Out of here. really hard to separate. Let me go get a knife. Never mind, I already have one. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. So you might need to get a knife to cut these apart because they are so intertwined with each other. Actually, these are not as big as I thought they were going to be, so I don't actually need to use a pan quite this big. So let me downsize to a smaller pan. Be very careful because inside this can is also the frosting that you want to keep. So you don't want to. Yeah. Wonderful design. <laughs> All right. So we have the, the cinnamon biscuits in there. And what we're going to do next. going to heavy whipped cream. You want to get about a quarter cup and just pour it right over top of the Cinnabons. It's, this whipped cream is a little on the frozen side. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this in the oven and we will be back. Okay, so now we're going to mix up what's going to be part of the topping. So we need about a quarter cup of brown sugar compact. Little bit of that. And some butter. All right. Finish off the rest of that. That done. Now I'm going to go melt it all. Okay, so this is what the sugar, cinnamon, and butter should look like. The nice consistency of this. Make sure all the butter is well, and you take it, pour it over top of the cinnamon. And this is only enough for five buns, so uh, try to make sure you get it enough on all of them. I'm going to make a little bit more next time. And then we're going to bake this for a good uh, 12 minutes or so. We'll be back. Okay. Moving on. We need two ounces of 
cream cheese. I got my handy dandy scale over here so I can measure it out. Make sure I get exactly two ounces. Oh, this is neat. Even show you where you can cut. It's gonna be two ounces. So I mean, I didn't have to weigh it. Two ounces. So, get two ounces of this. Put it in the bowl. that came with the uh, with cinnamon buns. All that's going in here. Okay. And I'm hoping yeah, it's kind of you can use you can use jam. Uh, I like to use strawberry glaze. Uh, you only need a little bit. This glaze is still. I'm going to have to thaw this out. Be right back. Let's get back to the get back. Okay, so here we go. Well, I'm just going to mix all this together. This is the icing and the uh, uh, cream cheese. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And here's some of my uh, strawberry glaze. I'm going to add a little bit of that to this. You can use jam uh, or whatever you want to use in it. I like it because it works really well in previous dishes I've used in the past. Look at that beautiful color. You know me, Mr. Uh, I don't like to waste nothing. Uh, I still have strawberries that are frozen. Uh, no worries because it's going to go right back in the oven. Uh, I finished marinating, so this is not going to be a problem. And I just want to slice it. And strawberries are one of those things that freezes very well. As you can see, no real uh, discoloration, not really soft or spongy, doesn't really get really nasty. And you can still use these strawberries instead of putting them in the trash. Strawberries don't last very long in the refrigerator. That's why I tend to freeze them because me, I hate wasting anything. And I bought some other new strawberries to replace the ones I'm going to be using. So, I need about a few strawberries. Uh, use as many as you want to or not want to. We're going to stir all this back up together. This is technically going to be the topping that's going to go on top of the honey buns or cinnamon buns. I'm going to use one more. Uh, 
Look how that looks. That is absolutely delicious. Now, I could put more in it, but I think that's good enough. I'm going to let you see what they look like before I pour on the glaze, stick them back in the oven for a few more minutes. So this is what they look like now. Pretty much done. I'm just gonna put this glaze on top of it and put them in the oven just for a few more minutes. And then we're gonna do a quick taste test, see how well this came out. And these these uh, honey buns swole up quite a bit, far more than I expected them to. Oh God, that's hot. Look at, look at that, look at that, look at that. Does not look absolutely delicious. Ooh. Now I'm going to put them back in the oven for about like another five minutes or so just to get the glaze and stuff heated up. Uh, plus those strawberries were frozen, so. We, we shall return. Okay. Here's the final product. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at this. Ooh, let me see if I can get one of these Cinnabons up out of here. Oh, look at the heat off that joker. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. Let's move this out of the way for right now. Let's give it a quick sniff. <sighs> Smells like strawberry heaven. <laughs> Let's give it a quick taste test. Oh, it's nice and moist. Let's see. Wow! This tastes, not only does this taste like a Cinnabon, but it's softer. You know how you get the Cinnabons, they're really sticky, and after you eat one, you have to go brush your teeth almost immediately. The bun is so moist and soft, and with that creamy, strawberry taste on top, it, your brain just goes into, you know, right now, you don't realize it, but I'm having like little mini strokes right at the moment. This is absolutely delicious. Oh, strawberry cinnabon buns, or strawberry cinnabon, or whatever you want to call it. But it is absolutely delicious. I was going to wait to post this to next week. Uh, this is getting posted tonight. <laughs> I'm going to, edit, if I can get time, maybe tomorrow morning, whenever I get time to edit it. Give me a, give me a scoop of ice cream with this. I'm done. I'm done. Absolutely done. That ten out of ten. Not even questioning. Not even second thought. I'm gonna go get uh, my son up with one of these because he's the one that gave me the idea for this. And we're gonna see what I'm gonna find out what he thinks. You take care, family. Have a wonderful holiday. Uh, I should still be on. I know I have to cut up a turkey and stuff. I might do a video on that one. Uh, but we shall see. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.